Hello, so this is my assembly slash build video of the Ada Square or Adafruit Times Square DIY watch kit. Um, when you get the box, it's going to be like that. Inside the box, you're going to get your circuit and your resistor, stuff like that. You should get one lithium battery. You'll get one strap and the LED cube that it's based off of. Um, you are going to need a soldering iron uh, to put this all together and you're probably going to need some wire snips to cut leads with. Um, so I'm going to be piecing this together um, using the YouTube editor uh, software that they have as I'm going through and building this. So with that, thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, at the end, I'll leave some video that shows how it works and um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them at the end. Okay, so on bagging everything from inside the watch kit, you should be getting uh, a couple of resistors, two different IC chips, a couple of connector plates, the printed circuit board, a couple of different various capacitors, and then the LED cube. Okay, so in, in assembling the watch kit, you're going to notice two different things. You're going to notice IC1 and this, or IC2, and this is IC1. Make sure to line up the notch with the notch that is actually listed on the printed circuit board. Okay, um, you're going to want to make sure that you might have to actually bend these down. There's a lot of people that say, "Oh, don't bend them," but um, in all reality. It's going to be a little too wide, so you're going to have to actually kind of roll them into place. Um, there's tons of different videos out there on how to do that. Um, you're going to see two different sides of the board. All the components are going to go on this particular side. And if you take a look, it even says matrix text on this side. This is going to be the side that's sticking out where you can see it. So make sure to put all your pieces onto this side of the board or else it will probably come into some issues. Okay, I have both of the IC chips soldered into place. I like to do that personally just for stability reasons. So um, the thing they recommend doing first is actually starting with putting your first resistor in, which is a 10K resistor as seen. Eh, let's see if we can get it. There we go. Okay, that's going to go into R10, which is in the top corner of the board. Now, remember, these kind of resistors can go either way. Um, they are not directional. Um, and remember, if you can't remember 10K, um, they do have it listed on their website, but, you know, if you're an electronics person, remember, bad booze rods are young guts, but if it goes well, it goes slow, uh, lets us know that we can find 10K by the black, or sorry, brown, black, orange, meaning one zero and three zeros after that. So I'm going to solder that into place, along with the other resistors um, that all go into these uh, R1, R2, R3, or eight spots that way I can clip all the leads and put everything together as quickly and efficiently as I can okay so with everything soldered into place um, at this point you need to go in and actually cut your leads down at one solder joint that turned out kind of how I didn't want um, so I may do some touch-up work uh, just to try and get it down to where I'd like. I actually like it um, so yeah you're going to take a pair of wire snips go in cut all these leads off um, the front of your circuit board is actually kind of starting to come together. Um, again, I had some fails down here in this corner. Not really happy with how it turned out. Um, so again, I'm going to go back and probably change that up a little. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, in the next part, I'll show you how to solder in some of these other part parts. Thanks. Okay, so this is one last quick video, just kind of showing everything from the uh, DIY watch kit put together. This was kind of a tricky part right here. Um, there is a bunch of text on the side of the LED matrix. You need to make sure that that lines up with a spot on the board that you can see earlier in the video that says text on this side. Um, but as you can see, everything's in place. Um, going to make one more video once I get the battery. Uh, put into place and show you what it all looks like Okay, so this is my last segment on the Adafruit watch. It is completely built um, And functioning now all you have to do is go through the programming steps Which they outline on their website. It's very easy to do um, 
just got to go through it and actually set it. Um, at that point, everything is all set, ready to go. Um, there is a plastic insert that you could put in here if you don't want the metal touching you, which I can understand. I do have it sitting right here. Um, I just found that everything was a little snug when I put that in, um, but it would basically sit on the back as such. Anywho, um, really simple, easy to build, very cool looking, very different from anything else that's out there. Um, again, thank you for watching. If you have questions, please feel free to comment at the end, and uh, please feel free to hit like or subscribe and come back and check out some more as I build them.